Okay, so we got Debian installed uh, with the GNOME desktop on our Arctos tablet. We've copied over the IMG file, the root FS IMG, and uh, now we're ready to boot it up. So we're going to hit, hold down uh, the down volume key while we hold press power. Now if you just press the power button, it will boot into Android like normal. Keep holding down the volume button until you get a menu here. Here we go. So, hopefully you can see that well. Now you get three options in this menu. Uh, Android, Developer's Edition, and uh, Recovery System. Developer's Edition is actually our Debian install because we replaced the developer's image with our Debian image. So here we go. Uh, you press, use the volume buttons to move up and down in the menu, and then you press the power button to choose a particular option. And here it says, you know, we're booting into Developer's Edition, boot in progress. Uh, also mentioned down here, the software is, and as is, uh, Arcos does not assume a responsibility, liability, blah, 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 additional firmware. Um, okay, so that's, that's, no matter what operating system you put on there, uh, that, that's built into the firmware, that little image and message at a little boot screen. Um, as you can see here, it might be hard to tell in the video, but that's the little uh, default GNOME cursor that's thinking, kind of like an hourglass. There we got our cursor. And uh, there we go, we got our login screen. Uh, obviously, we're not going to want to have to uh, use a login screen every time we start up our tablet. Um, if you needed to at this point, you can press this little circle uh, with the person in it. That's uh, uh, accessibility things. It has things like on-screen reader. And you can choose, you know, on-screen keyboard. And there's a few options for the keyboard there. We can close that. And you can see the, uh, the GNOME keyboard here starts up. Um, and you can try typing in your password there. I have not had too much luck with this keyboard though. Uh, um, once I get into the desktop, I like using the, the Matchbox uh, keyboard. Um, but this one I've tried a few times to just log in. And I've tried typing Debian as my password because that's what we set up as. And I have not been able to log in with that. And I, it's just weird because I'll press the key here and it looks like it presses the key. And then I'll press E, B, I, and I don't get why the keys flash. So I guess I just need to read more about how this keyboard works, but you would think you'd type it like that. Oops, I hit an extra key there. And then hit enter. No, no, there's not enough letters. See, I typed something wrong. It's hard. It's hard when you can't see what you're typing. You've never used this keyboard before. But we're going to go back in the next tutorial um, and, uh, you know, set up in our virtual machine uh, to bypass this. Now, we could do all this uh, on the device, especially if we set up SSH and log in, but um, the issues, the issue there is just you're working on the device, which you can do, but it's just easier to work in the virtual machine than copy over the new image. So we're going to work uh, in the next tutorial on the image some more, modifying some stuff, getting it more customized and get Matchbox up and running. Um, and uh, hopefully you'll like it. I like it a lot. Uh, like I said, it's not the prettiest by default, but it's usable on a tablet. Much so, I mean, you can use GNOME, but everything's so small. Um, but uh, yeah. So check out filmsbychris.com. That's Chris with a K. There should be a link in the description to more on this project. And um, turn off the keyboard. And that's it. I hope that you have a great day. Why did the keyboard open up again? I unchecked it. I guess it will reset when I reboot. Okie dokie. We're not going to mess with the same Orion Way because we're going to mess the mess with the image and copy it back over. Have a great day.